Hey everyone, Leo with the Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our happy birthday cake topper. Now I have everything cut out here in front of me, and I've sort of started to layer things so that they make sense, especially for me, since this is my first time putting it together. Um, but anyway, we're gonna start off with the backmost layer. I've sort of, you know, put things in place here so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, we've got these four individual balloons. They're both made up of two layers. So we're gonna take and just glue these two layers together. So let's get that going here. We go easy on the glue here. This is not a, uh, not a very large piece. We don't need to overdo it with the glue. And let's pop that into place. Just right on top of the white layer. Get that nice and centered, press that down. And we'll do the same thing to the remaining three balloons. Now the cool thing about this piece or this project is that well, we've included you know, uh, numbers zero through nine. So you can cut out whatever you need for whatever age uh, your birthday person is turning. Okay. And pop that down like that. Moving on here. There's really not much to these projects here. This is mostly kind of a, a, well, almost like a, a throwback to scrapbooking. We're essentially just, you know, it's all paper piecing. Everything's mostly flat with the occasional foam square that we're gonna use to create dimension between the layers. And um, that's really it. Obviously, there's also gonna be a little bit of space between um, some of the layers, or one of the layers, two of the layers actually, because of the skewers that we'll be adding so that we can actually stick it into the cake. But the balloons here are now done. I also inked, uh, everything pink here I inked with a, a darker pink. Okay, and I think I used the same color. These little guys, these little flourishes here, um, they are actually gonna go onto this piece here, this large piece, and you can see that we do have little markers so that you can get these precisely in the exact space that they need to be. Okay, so that goes there. And just follow along with the sizes here as I lay them out. They are, there are three different sizes. The smallest ones that I'm holding right now go at the bottom. And there's a place for the tail. And then there's kind of like a little, almost like a, a, a little V shape for the part where the little circle meets the tail. Okay, so we'll get those in place. We're gonna glue these balloons down flat. Honestly, I don't, it, it is helpful to have a video for this one just so that you know where all the layers go and how we attach them all. But I'm gonna venture to say that um, for those of you guys that have been working with our projects for a long time, you could probably just look at the photo and figure out where everything goes. But I enjoy spending time with you guys, so we're gonna just do this together and make sure that we do it right. Okay, so this one, this one's got some little tiny pieces, but not a big deal. Just take your time and just make sure you get everything in the correct spot. Okay, there we go. And that just leaves two more at the top here. And let me make sure I'm putting this in the right spot. Yep, that looks good. Using just a few little dots of glue here. Don't need a whole heck of a lot as these are pretty, pretty small little pieces. There we go, and the last one. And then for the actual balloons, um, the this turquoise piece, I think it's AC Pool, it is. Uh, there's some uh, shadow elements that are gonna help us get these aligned correctly. Now, the smaller balloons with the two little white cutouts um, those are the ones that are going to go on top. This one here with the larger white cutout on the left is going to go right here. So you want to kind of fit that in uh, at an angle like this. Okay. And we actually have little markers here to help you with the positioning of that as well. So make sure that it fits this little area here and that the little tail, the part where you uh, actually you know blow up the balloon, matches up with this little marker here. Okay, so pop that into place and slowly lower it just to make sure that it goes exactly where we need it. If it's a smidge off, don't, don't worry about it. <clears throat> 
Okay, let's get the next one going here. Okay, I'm kind of just holding it by the little tip there and getting it generally in the vicinity and then we'll pop it down into place. Press that down, there we go. Okay, and then the larger ones here, these guys, there aren't, we don't really have markers for these, but the little shadow area sort of goes down here as well. So we just want to make sure that it fits the contour of that pretty much like that. Okay, let's get our glue going here. So don't need a lot. Definitely get a little bit on the tip though. And line that up nicely. Try to bring that up a tad. There we go. Beautiful. And the last one. This shouldn't take more than about 20, 30 minutes maybe. So if you factor in, you know, if you wanted to buy one of these, you could, I guess. Well, I guess you can't really buy this one exactly because there's nothing else like it out there. Um, but, you know, shopping for it, looking for it, ordering it, waiting for it to come, um, having to contact the person on Etsy to tell them what number you want on it. You don't have to do all that. You can just make it yourself. Okay, so now we're gonna take and glue these two pieces together, the white layer underneath. And you'll notice on this piece that there's a series of little score marks on there. And that's to help us with the placement and positioning of the actual skewers and the little wooden sticks. And that's what we're gonna to use to pop this into our cake. Okay, so let's first off get this glued into place. Now, as you can see here, I did ink just the balloon part, because everything else is gonna be pretty much hidden. We don't need to worry about that, okay? All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flip this over. And again, I'm gonna actually color these in so you can see them better. There's a little piece like that. There's a few more uh, score lines that go down like that. And that is where we're gonna take our skewers and we're gonna glue them right there like that, okay? So let's do that now. Let's go ahead and get our glue on the skewer, like so. And pop that into place, like that. Just right up against the little marker there. Okay, beautiful. And the next one. This will be this will be tucked away. It'll be hidden. So if you get a little sloppy with the hot glue, don't worry about it. No one's even gonna see it. I should probably silence that. Okay, so we've got that in place. And that's one thing I do love about hot glue is that it dries really quick. So next we can take, we're gonna start taking some foam squares. I like foam squares instead of the 3D uh, zots because they don't move. Once you place them in a spot, they're not going anywhere. Okay, now these are a little thin and I'm not sure that they're thicker than the uh, actual skewer. So if that's the case, if your skewers are thinner or thicker, I should say, than your foam squares, you might need to add a second layer to this. Okay, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm looking at it kind of from the side, and I do see that the, uh, the what's it called? The skewers kind of go beyond the foam squares, so I do have to use two layers here. That's okay. These, I got these on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. I think I, I came with like, um, I don't know, I think it was like a 20 pack for maybe 20 bucks or something. So they were not that expensive at all. All right, so we're gonna peel these off. Again, this is now two layers thick, which is fine. It'll just be more dimensional, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and now we're gonna pop this on top of this piece here. And we just wanna kinda of use the little heart at the top, the shadow element of the heart as our guide. Let's take a look at that. Cool, perfect, okay. So there it is, starting to come together. And now it's just a matter of putting all the pieces for our cake together. And as you can see here, I've kind of gotten them laid out. What I'm gonna do is kind of start at the bottom. This is our main pattern here. 
and I'll get my glue. We'll put the little trim piece on the bottom first. And I can already tell that I'm going bonkers with the glue here. I'm going to spread that a little thinner with my finger and pop that right into place on top of this layer. Make sure it's nice and aligned. There we go. Pardon my head if it's getting in there. Okay. And now I'm actually going to put the little icing on first before I put the caption on. So we're going to start with this layer next. This is kind of, uh, kind of the top of the cake color. And you can see that there are little shadow elements here to help you with the placement of this piece. So pop that into place. And then we can take this overlay and get that installed or glued down. Go easy with the glue. You don't want it squirting out. If you feel like you got too much in any little area, just hit it with your finger and rub some of it off. And let's get that lined up nice and accurate. There we go. I need to nudge it down just a tad. Maybe over to the right a tad. You can see it. it just fits perfectly on top of that. All right, moving on up here to the next tier of our beautiful cake. And I'll pop that into place using the little scalloped shadow portion on the white polka dot layer here. There we go. And now we're going to take this color here. This is the trim piece that goes on top of that. And I'm literally just using a series of dots here. And again, if you get too much glue on those dots or too much glue on this piece, just thin it out with your finger. And let's try to line that up as accurately as we can. Perfect. Look at that. Wonderful. Okay. So now um, these are the numbers. And again, I think I mentioned it already. Um, you, it does come with, um, it does come with numbers zero through nine. So you can decide, you know, what, uh, what age you want to put on there. It's totally up to you. And I'm just going to glue that down flat using the previous layer there as your guide. Just make sure that it's sitting right on top of it, nice and flush like so. And then we have this little trim piece for the icing. It's going to go right below it. There's going to be a tiny little gap there. And this is a pretty delicate piece. So go easy on the glue. Don't overdo it. And I do need to thin this out a bit and just pop that right into place. Nice, tiny little gap there. You can bring it down a tad if it doesn't seem to be lining up on either side, just like that. Okay. Now you can put and install the sentiment on here or the caption. And again, this is all one piece, pretty thin. So go easy on the glue, try to spread it out throughout. There we go. And we do have some markers here to help you with the placement of this. So just tuck them right in between those little markers. There's our happy. Perfect. And then birthday small dots and then again using my finger to kind of thin it out so that it doesn't go splashing all over the project here. I want that nice and thin. Okay. And again, there are a series of markers here. Definitely use those to your advantage to make sure that you get it nice and centered. There we go. And last but not least, we've got the numbers here. There's two layers to the number. There's a white layer, and then there's um, kind of like a, a yellow, a yellowish layer, and that's for the flame. But that's going to go, the white's going to go on top of the flame layer. Oops. Just pop that right on there. And there's like a kind of a little circle at the top, and that's room for uh, a little, uh, rhinestone or a pearl or something just to kind of jazz it up even more. Let me get the other number glued into place and then we can go ahead and glue that onto the heart. And the idea is to just kind of get it into roughly the center of it. Okay, there we go. 
and we want it this this heart here is kind of in the background obviously you want the the candle with the numbers on it on the actual top tier of the cake okay so you don't want to put it on the heart you want to put it on that little uh that little part of the cake there so let's do that just a few little tiny dots of glue i went way overboard here probably don't want to smear that glue all over the place and you're gonna do your best to just kind of center this okay again right about there that looks good and then let me see where the six is gonna go yep that looks good that was a close one you may want to before actually committing to gluing it down just place it down without any glue to get a feel for what it's gonna look like in case you want to adjust it ever so slightly, but there we have it. Okay, so now all that's left to do with this now is take and flip it over, and we're gonna add some foam squares to this entire piece so that we can foam square it onto the existing part that we already have assembled. And I think I get away with just four foam squares on this. I think that will do it, okay. So let's tear, take these off, flip this over, and I'm just gonna match this up with the heart again. Use that as kind of your guide, get it nice and centered. And I think mine's a little off. There it is, okay. So, yeah, beautiful little piece here. And then all I'm gonna do is just add a few little rhinestones um, on the little icing portion of the cake. And that's it. So very quick, very cute, totally customizable, reusable year after year. Um, anyway, that's really it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please head over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our latest bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group or you can type in this little URL that you see here at the bottom. But anyway, I have four cakes now uh, because I have to take photos of these and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them because they're not going in my belly. But anyway, wish me luck. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.